we present to you Around Productions. What's good everybody? If you're a first time viewer of my content, end of this video, like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Today, as you see, we are going to be talking about this trend that's been going on TikTok. I haven't been on TikTok to even see this trend. I don't even be on TikTok as it is like that. But there's a trend that people have been telling me for the past few days of black women <laughs> fronting or flexing their white boyfriend. Now, it's crazy to me, right? And we're going to get into this in a minute. How these women have a white savior complex. Because there's no, and I'm not saying that we should, but there's no challenge. There's nothing in terms of appreciating your own people, appreciating your own men. There's no pre, there's, there's nothing like this. I've never seen anything like this before. And in TikTok, is one of those platforms that like to push a lot of swirl and I've seen that over the past couple of years but anyways let's watch this video and let's break this down all right let's get into it so I started talking to a white boy so I've seen this trend going all over my for you page and there's a black man I'm happy for you sis I really am and you just seem so healthy and happy. I seen some brothers get mad and stuff, but man, as a black man, we have failed you. We had to feel some of you. We did. We misunderstood you. We, we were disturbing. We did. We did. We hurt you. But a lot of us are also misguided too. You know what I'm saying? But that's not the point. The point is that you happy. I like that. <laughs> Let's break this down, shall we? The first thing that he mentions about this woman is that she's happy. And I and I and I really I despise that people put themselves in predicaments that aren't mentally sane, right? And you can feel how you want to feel concerning swirling and racial dating and all that type of stuff. But when you're dealing with a predicament, and if you study people like Dr. Naeem Ekbar, if you study people like Dr. Joy DeGruy, Dr. Francis Chris Welsing, if you study their work, you understand that black people suffer from what Dr. Joy DeGruy calls uh, traumatic slave syndrome. You study from Dr. Naeem Ekbar, and you understand that we suffer from seeing black or, or seeing black people as inferior, seeing ourselves as inferior, but considering white people and, and Caucasians as people who are superior. And you study this with Dr. French Chris Wilson because even from the age of four, five, and six, we are given this dynamic between white and black, wearing black at funerals and wearing white to weddings. You know, the big football kicking it through the white goal, the big brown ball going in the white basket. You know, it from from the age of four, five, and six, we are given this subconscious dynamic between white and black. But we must look at the fact that we don't teach hatred. Everywhere we go as black people, we face hatred. Look at it. Look at it. Angel food cake, white people say, is white. Devil's food cake, you say, is black. You wear white to weddings and black to funerals. Black ball, black male. You give us a blonde-haired, blue-eyed, pale-skinned, buttermilk complexion Jesus in contradiction to the black Jesus with nappy hair in the Bible. Our own babies, according to behavioral, sci behavioral scientists, our baby girls, when confronted when choosing with choosing between a black doll and a white doll, there has been so much damage done, they choose the white doll and say the black doll is ugly. And can you show me the doll that is the nice doll? And why is that the nice doll? She's white. And can you show me the doll that looks bad? Okay. And can you give, and why does that look bad? Because she's black. Hmm. And why do you think that's a nice doll? Because she's white. And you get into a state where you have these set of women who consider their own men not good enough for them. But Billy Bob, Kevin, they're good enough. And, and a lot of people don't see the, the, the mental illness here. They don't see the conditioning here that you consider people outside of your race a better 
compatible partner than people within your race. A lot of us suffer from a lot of things that have happened while we were growing up. We haven't been given a proper or a functional example of a black family household or a relationship between a black man and a black woman. We go on social media and we think that what we see on social media is our reality. So we go off and think that, oh, or black women ain't this and black women ain't that. And black women can't be down for us and black women never love us. I saw this one meme where it, it talks about how uh, when black women are around white men, <laughs> When black women are around black men and so many black men, oh, this is so true. Every time I, I go up and down the block, I try to say hey to a sister. She old smile at me back. I've never experienced that a day in my life. Phil. <laughs> me personally, I live in Atlanta. I've never experienced that a day in my life. Maybe you mess with some of these hood, you know, these hood boogers. But I ain't never experienced that a day in my life. And vice versa, you have these women out here, and I've, and I've mentioned this for the past few weeks, you have s some of these women out here who feel like men aren't down for them. The black men ain't there to admire them. They're not there to protect them and be there for them and love them, whatever the case is. Y'all got to get off social media. I don't know where your mind is for you to even consider <laughs> dating somebody outside of your race or even thinking that somebody outside of your race can relate to you better than somebody within your race. The only person who reflects me as a person is a black woman. And black woman, the only person who can reflect you is a black man. Understand that even if you are quote unquote happy in a relationship with a non-black person, that happiness is an illusion. This is what we call the illusion of inclusion. I've made a video about this. I won't emphasize too much on this, but I will have that link in the description box below. I also will put love is love is a false narrative. I will have that video linked in the description box below as well. Great video that I did back in 2018 or 2019. Nonetheless, when you're dealing with this whole scenario at hand, yeah, you may be happy, but the man in the sunken place was happy as well. A lot of people who are delusional are happy, the happy dead, as I like to call it. <laughs> These are the same Negroes that would be out here doing the Cupid shuffle and the cha-cha slide during a protest. Oh, they're happy. They're cheerful. All this type of stuff. Oh yeah, but they're happy. Let them do what they want to do because they're happy. That happiness don't mean nothing. Because a, a man, a black man could be happy in a relationship with a white woman, but have the most distasteful despise for his own women. And the same goes and vice versa. Then this nigga over here talking about, we failed y'all. We black men, we failed y'all. We, 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 we gotta do better. We, 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 we failed y'all. Who is we? <laughs> we? <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Speak for yourself, my nigga. Speak for yourself. I don't even like to use this phrase, but that's beta. <laughs> that that right there, that that's giving me simp vibes, fam. No disrespect. But you can't be over here out here talking about we failed you, black woman. We gotta do better. And then you say a lot of us have been misguided. Well, who misguided us? Seventy percent of black family households are ran by who? Oh, okay. Okay. And there might be some spiritual people or some metaphysical people that might come on this page and be like, well, you know, it's just the body and we got to expand out of the physical body so that we can see with the different eye because we're all the same when we exit the physical vessel that we've been given. Stop the bullshit, nigga. <laughs> Listen, I want a person that has a soul. I'm not saying that other people don't have a soul. But I want somebody that has a soul. I want that nine ether dark matter triple blackness. And you can only find that in a black woman. And the same thing and vice versa. In conclusion, you have a lot of Negroes that have this white savior complex 
They feel like if they go outside of their race, find somebody outside of their race, then they will be secured. And that is a white savior complex. But show your thoughts in the comment section below. Am I right? Am I wrong? How do you feel about this whole TikTok video? All right, did you like the reaction video? Let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and share this video with other people. Until next time, I'm Tyrone, and I am out. You know I will. Like Papa got a brand new bag. Any man who mad, tell him ooh fuck it, fam too bad. Known to spit with the coldest, with no particular motive. I've grown a bit till I notice what phony bitches are bogus. I bring doom to any MF. I'm a mad villain. I son niggas, my songs give you a dad feeling. The groovy new emperor, known to move temperatures. Life's a bitch, but she keeps sending me nude pics of her. She let it all hang out without shame. Through stories of each previous spouse about fame, trying to remove a skirt made of doubt and clout games. Then penetrate her until her mouth spit out change Nevertheless, they can't measure my fresh No rest to the devil is stressed Tell him I'm blessed I'm smiling, staring down a barrel of fear and